What's happening, Yeshiva Hatid? It's Mr. Flood here. Uh, I was at your school a few weeks ago, almost a month ago now, and I just wanted to come back via video. I'd love to come back, but on this video and tell you, first of all, thank you for the way that you treated me when I was there last month. I'm very grateful for that. I was treated with dignity and respect, which was wonderful, and you were all very kind and nice to me when I was there on the, the day that we spent together. But I just wanted to remind you, boys and girls, of the uh, challenges that I had given you when I was there and to refresh your memory because I know how quickly we forget things, especially you young guys and girls. So the first challenge I talked about was to look on the inside, you know, how we look on the inside of people and we don't judge them by how they look on the outside or even what they do. We really have to uh, understand that people are just like us on the inside. And the second challenge that I gave you was to show respect and connect with an adult in the building, you know, respect the teachers, always saying thank you to the teachers and all the administrators and the staff there at the school. So respect and connect with the teachers. Look them in the eye when you talk to them. That's how you show respect and that's how you connect with them. And the last thing was no one should eat alone. And I know in that little tight little cafeteria, the lunchroom that you have there, um, you might think no one's eating alone. You know, you're all in there together, and it's pretty loud, and it's pretty chaotic, and there's a lot going on, but there might be somebody in there who's feeling lonely, and, you know, if you sense that in one of your classmates, you need to reach out to them and invite them to be part of the conversation and invite them to sit with you and invite them to be close to you and uh, not let them be lonely. So listen to that voice inside you that tells you when something needs to be done and someone needs help and someone needs a pat on the back, or a, hey, how you doing, that type of thing. So again, you have your three challenges. Look on the inside, respect and connect with teachers, and no one eats alone. I will see you, boys and girls, hopefully sometime down the road. Again, I am very grateful for the time that I spent with you at Yeshiva Hayatid. That's all the, that's all the uh, Hebrew that I remember from being there that day. But I'll come back for another lesson, and uh, one of the teachers can teach me some more... Uh, some more of the language. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Hanukkah season and you're getting presents or whatever you wish for. And I will see you soon. Have a great day, boys and girls.